Yo, what up though family, welcome to Swimming Through the Void, this will be a general message today for the sign of Leo, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart, keep in mind we all have a fifth house, it's part of our birth chart and time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates here today, leave the rest for someone else, um, and these readings are timeless as well, so whenever you stumble across this message, whenever this message finds you, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align, tapping into your energy to today, Leo. <clears throat> happy Eclipse, by the way. Happy Eclipse season. Happy New Year. Um, this energy is very much in alignment with that. I use this faceted garden oracle deck today and this keepers of the light to help me catch the vibe and see what the message was going to be today. And uh, first card to come through from the faceted garden is this gate. Um, big 1111 energy here. I would say that this is our sacred doorway, right? This is that eclipse portal. This is the threshold that we're stepping through away from this old life and into this new life you have the entropy card next to leo which is letting me know that you have shed an old skin or you're in the process of literally shedding this old skin and closing the door doors door on old situations old relationships old chapters right so we have this wood card coming through for you we have wood spring light and then we have this ram energy that wanted to kind of overlook so big aries energy coming through it is aries season we are um in the midst of this new moon in aries um solar eclipse aries season is big right very activating for us and that's kind of when i when this card flew out i just saw that volcano i'm like some of some of some of my leos may be feeling pretty intense energies at this time pretty explosive and so with this wood card it comes through reminding us to find a steady pace right we can we if we have wood here and a fire we can either take all of the wood we have and throw it on the fire or we can slowly feed the fire and make the fire last a lot longer right this is just about slowing down finding a good pace being present um being resourceful as well and it's like almost like finding a good pace as we shift into this new season through this gateway through this portal into this light into this spring so beautiful energy coming through then on the bottom of the deck actually we had the humanity card coming through in reverse so i feel like there's something here maybe some of you are being called to pull your energy into yourself at this time into your heart space um to stand in your authenticity right to maybe some of you are dealing with aquarian energies in some capacity or dealing with an aquarius or you have heavy aquarius in your chart with it coming through in reverse here there is a feeling of needing to find a balance right between maybe others needs and our own needs something kind of like that we'll see what comes through in the keepers of the light we have the holy spirit lord ganesha we have Charity and Mother Mary. Bottom of the deck, we have Mercury with open communication. And as most of you, I'm sure, know, Mercury is, you know, retrograde right now. So phases and cycles under that. So it does feel like a time of pause, a time of slowing down. With that, expect miracles with the Holy Spirit. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. <clears throat> with Lord Ganesh, this is the infinite abundance card, but this is all about obstacles being removed, and that's what it says. Obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. Prayer and contemplation with charity, it says connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. Then we have Mother Mary coming through, and she's been coming through for pretty much the whole collective lately, and this says let go of the need to be right, choose peace mother healing is possible at this time so a lot of the collective has truly been closing out generational cycles and curses and energies like that as well and that's kind of part of this old skin that's being shed so beautiful energies um this to me gemini virgo energy as well with mercury it says get a weight off your chest speak up with love and be heard so i'm gonna pray real quick Leo, and then we'll dive into this message world on the bottom of the deck as we pick it up. 
see what it is for Leo today. Holy Divine. Mother and Father. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, Messages for Leo today. For their highest good, anything Leo needs to hear or know, any messages that will bring Leo clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower them, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will help Leo align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives, of course, above all, any messages that will help my Leos align with the highest divine will will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory to the Most High forever and ever. So I'm also seeing like this blooming, this blooming happening through this eclipse. It's weird. I almost saw this vision of, of this light card here being that the eclipse, right? But I saw then this spring card kind of coming out and blooming out of the center of that as well. So I feel there's this blooming happening this slow beautiful process of blooming as we move through and i'm hearing airy season so we're gonna see what the theme of your message is hanged man wanting to be seen and this is the version with the sun so there you are where the hanged man is actually getting off of the tree so this um is representing some type of movement right where we get out of this middle ground, we get out of this stuck situation or energy um, with a new viewpoint, right? We've risen to higher levels of consciousness through our trials, tribulations, and experiences. This is where we take that wisdom and we move forward with it. So we and that we take that and we make it work, right? We we start to alchemize. So what's the theme of Leo's message today, please, Spirit? As the family walks, steps through this portal, this gateway, Leo, sun energy, boom, knight of wands. And this is kind of the alternate version as well, where the horse is kind of doing its own thing there in the background. So again, kind of bringing in this, a little bit of a chaotic element to this energy. Um, and normally the knight of wands would be on the horse getting it, right? It would be movement, but he's actually off of the horse. The horse is doing its own thing somewhere. So that's that's symbolic to this energy where it's like, hold on, the horse has got to get itself together, right? The curtains closed, spirit setting the stage for this next scene, for this next chapter. But here you are truly um, moving from an awakened state. Leo, this represents your consciousness shining. This represents higher states of consciousness. This sun card represents healing and abundance and warmth and, again, light, right? And it takes the sun to make this blooming happen so um beautiful to see you coming through kind of in your power at the at the heart center but also the stage being set for this sunshine at this time so we're in the middle right um hanged man actually on the bottom of the tarot deck as well which i think we saw here as well yep so hanged man energy coming through heavy Piscean energy also with this entropy to me that's Scorpio energy Pluto energy um, maybe even Mars so some some intense energies can be playing out at this time so we're gonna jump into your energy first Leo and we will go from there so what do we have at the heart of Leo's energy what is Leo's energy spirit at the heart of the reading situation Hierophant next level moving to that next level truly justice hanged man so you're in the midst of an alignment here you are in the midst of shifting focus you're in the midst of shif shifting where you're putting your energy your time your resources your focus right here's that and this is about finding that brightest star in our sky right now so what we have at the heart your energy is the hanged man so triple hanged man com uh, confirmation. Some of you definitely have some Piscean energy in your chart. Um, to me, the eight of cups, 10 of swords, right? This is you leaving this old chapter behind this old life, this old lifestyle, this old version of yourself, these old relationships, ideas, careers, jobs, and, and all of it, right? This is the entire old chapter that you're closing the door on at this time. And we're coming through hanged man night of 
Pentacles. So very slow moving energy, but the Knight of Pentacles shows that there is forward movement, even if it may not feel like it right now. And to me, um, Knight of Pentacles is <laughs> one of my favorite knights um, because it, I feel like his steps are sure, right? They're solid, they're stable. Um, as to where this Knight of Wands can be very impulsive and, and through this Aries energy that just kind of amps that up. So it seems to be like there's forces at play here that are slowing things down or at least trying to help to slow things down. So there's this message coming through about slowing down your internal world as well. Even if things are a bit chaotic to just slow down because we're moving forward and I just keep seeing the stage being set. So Eight of Cups, Ten of swords is you you know and this has been a pretty difficult ending this has been very transformative for you leo as you've you know made it through your trials and tribulations and to me this hierophant here in the light seers tarot it's like you see that stairway to heaven you are climbing that stairway to heaven leo you're reaching new levels you're moving up to the next level of your spiritual journey here um, so it feels like taking advantage of this hanging upside down time. Um, it's almost like we're, we're at a red light waiting for it to turn green. And with the six of pentacles, to me, this is just about where you're putting your energy with the star on the bottom. Um, make sure you find that brightest star in your sky, connect with the divine, right? And hold that vision, right? Try not to let any lower frequencies pull you under, pull you down at this time. So let's see what energies are crossing you. Although with the Ten of Swords, Eight of Cups, it's clear to see that you are kind of leaving a, a world behind, a chapter behind, right? Possibly a person or just going through this rebirth energy and, and integrating this new version of yourself as well, I see. So what is crossing, Leo? Please, Spirit. <clears throat> I, I, some of you feel like you're not getting anywhere. I heard Leo say I'm not getting anywhere. That's not a message for everybody. But I, I do feel like maybe things have just slowed down to a point where it, it could be even causing some frustration. I mean, two of wands, eight of pentacles, chariot, and six of swords all coming through in the energies that are crossing you. So I, I want to say that you can take the crossing energies as kind of good or bad. It feels again like the stage is being set. The worst of the storm is over with the Six of Swords. Chariot is true alignment with divine will here. Spirit definitely pulling the boat, leading the way, and saying basically it's your job to stay focused forward, to stay focused on that star, on that vision, on that prayer, on that intention, and try not to let anything... Um, pull your vision or focus from that light the eight of pentacles is all about growing it's spiritual growth it's ascension it's building yourself building your life building your business it's projects it's learning it is um really all about also putting all of the tools that you've gained um throughout your journey leo to use at this time and make sure you are i'm hearing staying on it staying on it some of you may feel like you're going through a bit of like a soul test, a karmic test, an energetic test. I'm hearing we're almost there with the justice, you guys. The ener energetic balance is absolutely coming to fruition here. So what is the spirit? So, Leo, I'm seeing this energy for a lot of you putting you into a situation, relationship, position. Putting you into an energy or experience where you're realizing that things are not really serving you. People are not really serving you. Beliefs are not really serving you. Maybe habits are not serving you. Maybe even like physical things in your life are not serving you. And it feels like there's kind of a cleanup crew coming through. And I feel like this is happening on more of a subtle level as well. So there may, I'm seeing a lot of mental traffic, a lot of mercurial energy coming through kind of. Um, and with the Queen of Swords coming through, you know, to me, this always represents having to make maybe decisions that are not so easy for us, like getting out of our comfort zone or standing up for ourselves, speaking our truth, speaking our voice, 
um, maybe cutting someone off, right? It's that type of energy where if you see in the Queen of Swords depiction, she actually has the cup locked up down here at the corner. The cups represent emotions. So she's like, I'm emotionally detaching. Then we see these flags, blue, um, yellow, red, blue, representing spirit, representing truth, representing that um, throat chakra. This is flying much higher than the, the yellow or the red. So it's like we're not making decisions from a place of fear, ego, pride, lack, insecurity. It's like this is truth. This is our spiritual guidance. This is um, us moving from that space and four of, sor four of um, pentacles, letting go of what no longer serves us, truly stepping toward that north node energy, getting out of that comfort zone. And maybe that's why this Aquarian energy is out here in reverse, right? Um, so I'm hearing for Leo to pull in, to pull your energy in and to, I'm hearing generate, generate, cultivate energy at this time. So basically resting, healing, um, your body, your aura is repairing. I'm seeing for somebody, there's like a leak in your energetic field. And through resting, this is going to help to heal that. What is incoming for Leo? Judgment, Four of Wands. What's incoming for Leo? <clears throat> Thank you. Man, you've grown so much spiritually. Okay. What is this incoming for Leo? Okay, so incoming we have first and foremost this page of wands to the queen of wands energy and that's how it fell out as well so to me this is representing some type of growth right where you move from the page to the knight to the queen to the king so there's some type of growth fire right spiritual growth maybe an opportunity to really um grow your passions to grow your business to really pour a lot of your six of pentacles eight of pentacles a lot of your energy into whatever it is you're passionate about or you're building or whatever is inspiring you at this time in order to this is where you're just like follow i see in this incoming energy leo you're connecting with your heart space with your truth with your authentic truth and you're moving from that space unapologetically this is a time of dreaming beyond dreaming past your perceived limitations this is time to see beyond your beliefs or the structures and and um walls that have been of our programming and conditioning this is really time to open up um and to again move authentically unapologetically i'm hearing leo the world needs your light leo the world needs your light you are abundant you lack nothing the abundance of the cosmos is within you leo i feel like a lot of you are bringing something to life you're bringing a project a business you're bringing a vision um to life and this can even be just you really moving toward creating your ideal life your ideal connection with the divine your ideal relationship as well right with this page of cups and this has been coming through for everybody look we literally have a pig flying in this card we have this connection with this um this dream connection it's like literally dream bigger and four of cups do not let the past hold you back do not look at the past with rose colored glasses at this time everything is perfect and divine and in perfect divine alignment this full divine beautiful cup is here and spirits literally like let's go this is a new direction a new life a new way of living a new way of thinking um this is where i see leo very much connected to the divine very much connected to that still small voice that inner voice you know and however you connect i'm seeing that leo is cultivating a deep connection with <clears throat> you know what's beyond with your higher power with source with the universe so trust that as well. What is incoming for Leo? What is this spirit? 
So, and it's, it's different for everyone, right? But it's the end of a dark cycle and you're coming into union with, your purpose with your manifestations with your passions and with these opportunities that i'm hearing that are going to take you far trust your intuition at this time again don't get pulled under a lot of piscean energy come through as well try to see things as they are try to see things from every angle try not to get caught in um fixed points of view illusions delusions at this time let's grab some advice for you leo and then we'll grab some oracle cards as well. Also using affirmations and using your voice, using your internal monologue to hold focus on your vision at this time as well. Your words are very powerful. Your thoughts are very powerful. Your spiritual practice at this time is very powerful. What is the advice for Leo? Eight. Eight is significant. <clears throat> Advice. Don't stress. <sighs> Don't let anything keep you up nights, Leo. The divine has you at this time. What is the advice for Leo? Yeah, there may be some type of like karmic relationship that Leo is. Some of my Leos are letting go of. We have fire sign, Gemini energy out here. Um, what, okay, so what else is this? So generally, if there are any relationships in your reality right now that are not like serving you, and you can ask yourself this question right now and get an answer. And the way you get your answer is to not think about the answer and take the first answer, right? That comes through intuitively. Um, is this person coming with me into this next chapter? right what was the lesson i was supposed to learn through this situation or relationship can i see it clearly because we have this four of pence again in your advice with the nine of swords as well the lovers uh knight of cups came out here in reverse some of you are okay this is not for everyone some of my leos are putting limits limitations on your dreams and this is literally the divine like uh-uh okay but i feel like some of you are also working through ending or releasing in some capacity a relationship or maybe even just a wait a situation that played out something like that we're holding on to something here um that is not coming with us what is the advice or Leo. <clears throat> okay, so we have Strength, Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, and to me, Knight of Wands. This is about you going for what that brightest star in your sky again, and we and we end with this Aquarian energy again, right? This is wish fulfillment. This is manifestations coming to fruition. This is deep soul level healing. This is about putting ourselves back together. This is deep release and clearing, right? The star comes right after the tower. So it's like, here's where you're laser focusing on your star. And we have both the nine of cups and the star out here, Leo, in your advice. Both are cards of wish fulfillment and manifestations and, and happiness and, uh, you know, things coming to fruition. So it's like having the strength, having the courage to take the actions that you're being guided to at this time in order to help you continue aligning with this, with your star, right? And spirit is really asking Leo not to overthink, not to stress, not to let shit keep you up nights, not to let that mental space bind you up tie you up you're going through a deep deep transformation here this is all about patience positivity and focus this is um i'm hearing the come up the glow up i see you in the hermit and the six of wands just glowing up letting your light shine like right the divine said leo we need your light you've made it through the darkness you've made it up the mountain you've sat now you're sitting at the top of the mountain and you are everything's clicking 
I could have went this way when I went that way. Okay, next time I know, right? You're you're integrating this deep soul level wisdom and this is radiating out through you. So not only is your own path illuminated moving forward, but you can also teach others and show others the way and just shine your light regardless of how that is. Even if it's just from being in your lane and doing what's best for you, for your soul, right? And, and for your path. So have the courage to take action, have the courage to let go, um, stay strong, stay focused, stay in your power. Um, are the things that I'm focusing on pouring energy into, are they, are they giving back? Are they causing problems, trouble, stress? Are they, are they taking my peace in any way, right? So it feels like an overview as well happening from the top of the mountain. So let's grab some Oracle cards. Big, big message for you, Leo. Big Aries season energy. This is this is the new year of New Year's, y'all. I feel like this is one of the most significant shifts that we'll probably see, right? One of them. Deep quiet, number 11. There we are with these 11 showing up all through your reading as well. It's meditation and stillness. Preparations come to fruition. So spirit saying that your blessings are here, right? And this card is all about we pray and we pray and we pray for our manifestations to come to fruition. And it's like a lot of times it feels like they never do. And so this is like, okay, the fish are here. Time to pull the net up, right? Your prayers have been answered. Let's let's make it do what it do now, right? This is a six. Surrender to that, Leo. Let's read this number 11. When the deep quiet appears, and let me know what this card says to you down in the comments below. If you get any downloads, any intuitive nudges, any feelings, anything like that, drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you see. If this was the only card that came through for you today, Leo, what would it be saying, right? Deep quiet. When the deep quiet appears, it's a message from the cosmos calling you to stillness, hanged man, to step outside of the concerns of your everyday life. This does not mean to slow down and take a breath, although that's a good start. The cosmos is inviting you to go deep to that place where the noise stops and there's only the vast vast emptiness of inner peace. When we don't respond to the invitation offered by the deep quiet, life can stop us in our tracks with an illness or a crisis. Listen to that still small voice. Remember that you want to catch spirit on a whisper, not a shout. And it's only human to argue that you're too busy to slow down or that you don't have time, the inclination, or the money for a retreat. Do not let any of those reasons get the better of you. Spirit coming through heavy as I say that. Do not let any of those reasons get the better of you. Stop the world and enter the deep quiet before you come to a crashing halt. After you've said yes to this invitation, you'll find that the world can get along quite well without the need for you to manage it. You will enjoy the freedom that comes with stillness, the clarity and spaciousness offered by the silence. So again, that energy of really just going within, and I kind of see that in this laughing Buddha energy of the Hierophant in this card as well. So definitely connect with heaven like that card said, ask and you shall receive with charity. The Cosmos feeling charitable at this time for Leo, which feels really good. So let's grab one of these white light oracle cards as well. Where are we at on time? Ooh, sheesh. There we go. Grab one of these white light oracle cards. Spirit, what's the message for Leo? As they swim through this portal and leave this old life behind. Sacrament of extreme unction. What's the message for Leo? Three, karma of Kutuhala, this um, phoenix rising from the ashes type energy. Also, this um, Yeshe Sogyal, 
it, it's definitely about this movement into a higher place, into a new place. So we have two, and then we have 43, seven. You also got Cupio Dissolvi. I'm thinking since Karma of Kutuhala came out first, that's what we'll read. This is number 43, seven, very divine number. Let's see what we have. Karma of Kutuhala. It says, your sacred soul passion is powerful enough to shift the state of your inner reality and your outer experience. So commit to what truly ignites your heart and do not be dissuaded by anything or anyone. If you're seeking to make a commitment, do so when it truly connects to your heart. Follow your genuine, meaningful bliss. Know that no matter what appears to be, you shall prevail. You shall arise. Kutuhala is a Sanskrit term that translates as that which excites wonder. Even if it doesn't seem like it will lead us anywhere practical, following our bliss can allow for something beautiful and deeply fulfilling to unfold. We often pursue what is sensible and secure, yet what could be more appropriate or divinely and delightfully inappropriate than pursuing a path so intoxicating, so fascinating, so utterly mesmerizing to the spirit that no matter what challenges arise you feel so much love and commitment and passion that you shall not turn away that is the stuff of potential greatness we might call it being led by our hearts kutuhala is permission to do just that the shadow side or the unconscious pursuit of kutuhala is seen when we chase our bliss in such a way that nothing genuine ever gets a chance to mature we might be lured by greener grass and chase after every new possibility like a butterfly flitting from place to place this doesn't involve the heart but rather the restless mind which acts from fear and avoidance rather than using passionate devotion as its foundation the commitment that emerges out of true kutuhala is not about clipping one's wings, but about growing them and learning how to fly skillfully. Without commitment, one takes a leap, tries to fly, fails, and rather than going through the process again and again until there's an understanding that leads to mastery, one tries to ride a bike, or surf, dance, teach, heal, or innumerable other things, never giving any a chance to settle and evolve. There's inherent wisdom in Kutuhala. Let yourself be truly excited and inspired. Allow yourself to stumble, to not know, to become the holy mess that precedes sacred rebirth. When your attraction is deep and soulful, you'll have the capacity to stay the course, even through difficulties. Ears started ringing really heavy. As we said that when your attraction is deep and soulful, you you will have the capacity to stay the course even through the difficulties. Do not allow the ego to tell you that the struggle must be a sign that the path isn't right for you and thus drag you away in search of a substitute paradise. The oracle of karma of Kutuhala can relate to those times when you're just discovering the path, feeling inexplicably fascinated by something, and are encouraged to explore just what the true nature of that fascination could be. Then, the karma of wonder is guiding us to fulfill the deepest longings of our soul and attain spiritual freedom in the process we often think of karma as negative but positive karma is our connection to guiding grace the soul's delight that empowers us to live with joy and rapture we can cultivate positive karma in the way we live our life from the heart with forgiveness a sense of worth and gentleness in our hearts this oracle guides you towards spiritual empowerment your ability, even today, to create something positive, gracious, and loving. What ways of being and which practices would enhance your ability to be a generator of positive karma in this lifetime? Small steps can lead you to great accomplishments when we stick to a path, so be patient in your passion and you shall go far. This oracle encourages you to recognize that in its own imitable way, spirit is practical. It just tends to go via the deliriously rapturous, astonishingly, and deeply healing route. Trust what you love and let your heart lead you. You and your life shall become luminous, sanctified in the grace of alchemical transformation. An unexpected and miraculous arising is at hand. Sheesh, and I think you had the Holy Spirit first, which literally says, expect miracles. 
surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back so let's run through this healing process for anybody that feels guided to connect with this it's really quick and then we'll grab a moonology card and a message from the kali oracle as well to tie the reading together um, take a moment to connect consciously with your breath breathe in and slowly breathe in and out slowly and deeply allowing the breath to naturally lengthen and perhaps even allow for pauses on each side of the in and exhalation place a hand on your heart and say the following aloud i call upon the heart wisdom of sacred passion and higher purpose may i be graced with the discernment to recognize what is true valuable authentic and genuinely purposeful in my life may i release all else with the sense of humor and a willingness to recognize that i've learned something useful i allow myself to be inspired rather than frightened by the passions of my heart i choose to learn from what i love and be led through what inspires and excites me I trust the passion in my heart is the same passion that the universe has for me and that the inspired, excited, curious feelings are cosmic breadcrumbs leading me along my rightful path. May all beings be guided lovingly to fulfill their highest divine destiny. Allow yourself to see, sense, or feel a light within your heart. It is playful, excited, and curious. When your mind or feet alight upon something relevant to your soul's journey, your heart tingles with spiritual electricity. It lights you up from within, leaving you feeling as if though anything is possible and there's an endless path of creativity, beauty, sacred and deeply healing and liberating for you to explore and share. Tune into that feeling. Know that it's safe to trust it. When you're ready, place both hands at your heart and just acknowledge your own heart as being a beautiful and sacred instrument for which you are grateful. Then you've completed this healing journey. Beautiful, beautiful. So back to that message of just going within and generating that energy and right, riding this wave out. Let's see what the moonology has for us. A time to give rather than take. Prosperity lies ahead. What's the message for Leo, please, spirit? Have faith in your dreams. Y'all, I'm telling you, a win-win outcome is forecast. Confidence is your key to success. Then we have this, a time to give rather than take coming through again. A personal issue reaches resolution. Divine Mother, what is the message for my beautiful Leo family? Leo gang gang, thank you for stopping through, for showing love like y'all do. I appreciate you. I appreciate the love and support, the donations, the shares, the likes, uh, all of the things. Did we just lose a card here? <clears throat> all right, Ma, what's the message for Leo here today? Lalita Tripura Sundare. Wow. A chapter in your life is closing and will not be reopened. This will be reason for celebration. Whatever you need to release right now shall create the space for what is divinely destined for you to manifest through her grace. You shall enjoy a change of pace and release from intensity, so open your heart to the beginning of your golden era. Sheesh. Leo, let's go. You have Mahakali as well. It says you can trust that what is happening right now will give way to a new expression when the time is right. That right time will be the best time when your readiness matches the requirements for success. So attend to your work with determination and hope in your heart. Trust that the divine is taking care of everything else. Your progress is spiritually protected. Family release and you shall receive leaving the darkness stepping into the light this is beautiful 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 energy big ascension vibes here and some of y'all probably feeling them ascension symptoms make sure you are staying hydrated um and all of those things taking care of yourself loving yourself at this time i hope this message helped leo i hope there was something in it that you were able to take with you along your journey Thank you again for stopping through and showing love, man. I appreciate y'all. Before we tap out fully, we are going to take a second to take our deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will, our imagination, um, our visualization to 
imagine that we're pulling from the air this cosmic energy, this prana. Picture it as white or gold light um, filling your body, filling your aura. Then we're going to take the deepest breath in we can. We're going to pause, hold the breath at the top, and imagine ourselves glowing as bright as we possibly can. And then as we exhale, we're going to release forcefully. Um, kind of pushing out any negative energy any blockages any lower frequencies doubt fear anger resentment sadness whatever it may be we're going to push all of that out so the divine can help us transmute that we're going to glow about our day and stay connected throughout the rest of this eclipse and airy season so first things first leo oh i'm going to take a deep breath out completely empty and clear your lungs and then we'll get the breath in so we kind of want to start fresh so breathe out Empty your lungs and we'll get it. Empty, empty, empty. Now breathe in. Hold it, squeeze, Mula Bando, lift up on your perineum, raise that energy up your spine, now pull it down, lock it into your heart space, you guys watch yourself glowing as bright as you can, hold it, hold it, hold it, and... That shit go. Leo gang, happy new year, happy eclipse. Again, I love y'all so much. I hope this message found everybody blessed, well, and in great spirits. I hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Um, and I will see you beautiful beings on the next reading.